In this video, I'd like to talk about graphically adding and subtracting complex numbers. And remember that when you have a complex number, there are two ways to look at it. The first way is to separate it into its components. So if we had some complex number z, this is equal to a plus bi, where a, that is the real part, of the complex number and bi, this is the imaginary part of the complex number and a and b are real numbers and i is just the square root of minus one. So we can rewrite these numbers in terms of their real and imaginary parts. For instance, z2 would be four for the real part plus one i for the imaginary part. And remember, when you see a number written in this form and we want to plot it on the complex plane, we would go over 4 for the real part and up 1 for the imaginary part. Likewise, this complex number z1, we can write that as 8 for its real part. And notice its imaginary part is positive 4. So z1 is just 8 plus 4i. And from here, when we compute z1 minus z2, we would subtract 4 from 8 and subtract 1i from 4i. Since when doing addition or subtraction with complex numbers, you combine the real parts and you combine the imaginary parts. So that's one approach that we'll take. But the other approach is to look at these complex numbers as vectors. And remember that a vector starts at the origin and essentially points to the complex number. So you can think of this as an arrow that points from the origin to the complex number and this arrow has a length and it has some angle that it's at above this real axis. And likewise, we can draw a vector for Z2. And we'll do that in a green color. So again, that will go from the origin to that point. And again, you can think of this as an arrow. And when we add and subtract vectors, we essentially take the one that we're adding or subtracting and move it to the tip of the first one. Now, with addition, we would just slide this green vector over here. It would look something like that. And then the sum of those would be essentially where that second vector ends. So it would be this new vector here. But since we're subtracting, it's a little bit more complicated. Basically, we want to find the opposite of this vector and then slide that over and add it to this purple vector here. And finding the opposite of the vector, essentially what you can imagine doing is rotating it 180 degrees so that it would basically be over here. Or another way to look at it is that we're going to make both the real part and the imaginary part negative, since we're just taking the opposite of this vector here. And the opposite of 4 will bring us to minus 4. The opposite of 1 brings us to negative 1. So this new vector, the opposite of z2, will be right there. And we can draw an arrow to that. Let me actually use a darker green color for that. So this is the vector that we now want to add to the vector to z1. And again, to add vectors, we're just going to take this vector and slide it so that its initial point starts at the tip of the first vector. And let's label this the opposite of z2, just so we can keep everything organized. And again, we're just going to slide this over here that the beginning of this opposite of z2 starts at the tip of z1 and it will go left four units and down one unit, which will end it right here. And where this vector ends will tell us the difference between these two complex numbers. So this difference, which let's draw that in blue, will be the vector from the origin to the end of this second vector that we subtracted. And this point right here, this is 
our difference. This is z1 minus z2. And notice that it has a real part of 4 and an imaginary part of 3i. So this is equal to 4 plus 3i. So that second method using vectors is just a visual way to understand how to add and subtract complex numbers. But you can also do that by just writing them in terms of the real and imaginary parts and then carrying out the subtraction. So let's look at it that way so that we can consider how the two compare to each other and we can check our work. So we need to find z1 minus z2. And we know z1, that is 8 plus 4i. And we're subtracting z2. And I recommend putting it in parentheses so that you can remind yourself that you need to subtract both of these numbers. Or essentially, we're distributing this negative sign. And the difference of this, we have 8 plus 4i. Let me just rewrite it with the negatives now. So we have minus... 4 and minus 1i. And when adding and subtracting complex numbers, we want to combine their real parts and combine their imaginary parts. So let's keep working up here. We have 8 minus 4, which is positive 4, and 4i minus 1i, which is positive 3i. And this, notice, is exactly what we found when we analyzed this using vectors. So these are two different ways to approach the problem to add or subtract these numbers graphically, but you can use both methods to double check your work.